What's up Libra? This is going to be a love forecast for the first half of June. This is for my Libra Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the cross watchers. If you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a like, throw me a comment, share. It really helps out my channel. And if you are new here, I do put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do. I also do offer personal readings and all the info for that's in the description box of the video. And I am on TikTok and Instagram. If you want to follow me over there, I've put the links to those in the description box as well. So let's get stuck into it. Spirit, what's coming in please for my Libra, Libra Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the area of love, first two weeks of June. Any love messages for my Libra, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, first two weeks of June. Okay, the Hierophant card, the Queen of Swords, that's you Libra. The Seven of Wands in the reverse. There's a Two of Swords here and there's a Queen of Wands in the reverse. Libra, indecisive, stuck, not sure, not clear, not, not clear on the way forward. We've got the blindfold on like a decision needs to be made. Like, should I cut this out or should I, should I stay with it? Or maybe you have a choice between directions. Um, it's just not clear, okay? Uh, the Queen of Swords is you. When you're in good energy, you're pretty communicative and you're pretty honest and open. Um, maybe there is a need for honesty in this situation, um, or an honest discussion. Because there seems to be some someone that you're dealing with where um, you're not sure if you want to persist. Like there's a seven of wands in the reverse here. I mean, for some of you, you're dealing with a situation where there's a lot of guardedness and there might need be a need to have an honest conversation, um, you know, to drop the guard, to open up. Queen of Swords, um, she's got solid boundaries and she's quite balanced when she's healthy. And then when she's going into her shadow energy, she can lack boundaries or she withholds a lot and then it frustrates her. Um, it's not gender specific, but she's a queen. You know what I'm saying? Um, it could be that uh, there's some defensiveness between your person and maybe you are hoping to be able to work through that to drop the guard. Or maybe you're wondering if you can't work through that, is it just maybe because this isn't for you? Like you're not really sure. Two of Swords, um, the Queen of Wands in the reverse. Something has you maybe, you know, Queen of Wands in the reverse is like something in this situation has you maybe lacking confidence. You know, um, yeah, the Hierophant card is here. So, you know, this is about traditional values, marriage, you know. So maybe you want to get very clear on whether or not this is where you're headed with this person. Um, there could be stuff coming up around cultural differences or religious differences. Um, perhaps you're like looking at a situation and thinking, should I persist because there are differences here or we, are we on the same page? Do we want the same things? Hierophant card is going to come down to your values as well. It's not just about religion. It's like, what is important to me? And is this in alignment with what's important to me? And you're just not very clear. But something within this situation is also looking to me like you're having trouble asserting yourself. So maybe... The challenge here moving through June is to, rather than being in a reactive place, you know, because it seems to be maybe there's a lot of frustration coming up because something that needs to be said is not being said, or it's hard to break down the walls with a person because maybe you're a bit in your guarded energy, you're not in your balanced energy. So maybe the challenge now in June is to actually, you know, step into your truth um, and communicate what you want to communicate and talk about what needs to be talked about, right? Um, yeah, because otherwise I'm feeling like maybe you feel you've hit a wall or something's just very stagnant to a source. I mean, I'm going to get energy on this person, um, but you're lacking your confidence, Libra. Let's have a look. What's this Queen of Swords? Ten of Swords. Okay. And the Ace of Cups in the reverse and the Knight of Swords. Seems to be that there's some harsh energy going on here, Libra. I mean, it could be that you and this person, like I said, maybe because of the lack of honest and truthful and open communication or lack of clarity, um, it's causing a little bit of harsh en energy between you and this person. Or, um, you know, maybe you have had some kind of a an, uh, an ending with this person um, or an abrupt uh, conversation or a, or a harsh... Um, like an argument. Maybe that's what happens, Libra. It's like maybe you hold back too much um, or this person is triggering something in you where you're not asserting yourself properly and therefore you may there may be some big reactions. 
Um, it could also be that you are deciding now as you move through June whether or not you want to end this Ten of Swords. There seems to be some pain here. Um, and the Ace of Cups here is in the reverse as well. Maybe there is pain in wanting to let this go. Um, or Libra, the other thing that's really coming through is that it's possible that you are carrying some baggage from your past into a current situation, right? So maybe this situation is triggering some lack of confidence in you um, because there's old pain, ten of swords that hasn't been dealt with. And, you know, whether that's triggering your, your self-confidence issues, your self-worth issues, your ability to speak and open up, speak your truth. And then so that's creating a lot of tension in your present. Okay, I know I've jumped around, but that's what I'm getting. But what I mean is, Libra, I think it might be triggering something and you might be projecting quite a lot into this situation. Either way, um, with the Ace of Cups in the reverse, there's something here which has you not feel, feeling very fulfilled. Maybe you're considering whether or not you just want to leave this behind and, you know, Ace of Cups in the reverse would be not wanting to renew the situation. So if you are a person that is having some kind of tension with someone um, or harsh words, it might be, you know, this is about pain and you might be thinking, okay, would I even want to renew this? It's going to come down also to whether or not this person is in alignment with, with what you desire and your values, okay? So I'm not taking sides or anything. I'm just, you know, wondering whether or not this is more to do with you and where you're at and what is going on with you internally than maybe the current situation. But I'm going to have a look at it anyway. Um, the Two of Swords, indecision, stuckness, I'm not sure, I'm not clear, um, you know, or maybe this person, there's something within their behaviour that, you know, they have hurt you in some way. I mean, Ten of Swords can be when you feel betrayed. Look, the Queen of Wands energy, also Libra, and you're the Queen of Swords. This could be another person that's in the mix. A Queen of Wands in the reverse can be like a karmic type energy. It could be a third party. Maybe you're dealing with a person that's indecisive about what they want, like whether or not they would commit. Like maybe you're dealing with a person that's sort of not really wanting to move forward in a marriage or a commitment because of a past. Like a Ten of Swords is, is also, it could be their past. There could have been a betrayal or there could be some pain that they have not dealt with. Or there could be, like I said, a third party that's lingering, that's affecting the connection. Maybe that has you feeling like you don't want to persist anymore. Maybe that's hurting your feelings. Okay, Libra, there's a decision that needs to be made. And there you are, you're an empress. And then there's a nine of pentacles. Then there's a lovers. Okay, so I feel you have a strong connection with this person. But the judgment card is your decision. You know, you need to make a decision. The empress card is you. It's your energy and Taurus energy. It's about growth and expansion. It's also about motherhood. It's the wife and the mother. Um, maybe you're looking at a situation and trying to decide if you can grow and expand in this or if this is aligned with what you want. Um, or if you want to go your own way, nine of pentacles, right? This would be you being single and available. So that could be the decision that you need to make. Um, and this is choices as well with the lovers card, right? So... Um, the judgment cards also, would I give this a second chance? So if in June, you know, you're distant or cold with this person or there's been an argument or some kind of an ending, it's like, would I give this another chance? Judgment card. Maybe they're trying to revive it, but you're sort of stuck and unsure. Let me take a look at this situation on their end. Um, but I do have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, which has you feeling a little bit like you don't know if you want to continue putting effort in to the situation. Okay, let me have a look at them, their feelings, intentions, actions, and all of that, and then we'll see where this is going. Tell me about this person's two of wands, Libra. So maybe you're both at a crossroads or an impasse or unsure. What is this person's feelings and intentions towards Libra now as we move through June? I just saw the three of swords. So maybe this person, there's some hurt feelings or there is a third party energy where they're still impacted. Let me have a look. Okay, they have two of pentacles. So this is a bit back and forth. Um, look, either they feel like you're sort of not sure, Libra, because you're like, you know, they feel maybe you're weighing your options now or maybe this person is juggling a lot. Maybe this person has financial responsibilities um, that impact them or there's an issue around balancing um, outside obligations, responsibilities. Queen of pentacles, seven of cups. There's confusion and mixed emotions here around maybe whether to really settle down and commit 
I mean, Queen of Pentacles energy would be about like a stable commitment. All right. Um, for some of you, this person, like I said, they have probably been in a relationship before. Maybe there's financial responsibilities there, like if there's children or something like that. But the Seven of Cups is mixed mixed feelings, confusion, um, and the Page of Wands is in the reverse, and the Knight of Cups is in the reverse. Well, Libra, <laughs> Knight of Cups is, is sincere emotion, but like when I see a Knight or a Page of Cups in the reverse, it's sort of like someone here in the, feels the other one is not being very sincere with them in what they're offering. And the Page of Wands in the reverse can be like a little bit of that immature type of an energy. Um, or it could be like Page of Wands in the upright would be about like wanting to take a new path. If this person is back and forth and there's confusion because of past energy, then this could be like maybe they feel unready to move forward, settle down. Um, a lot of pentacles here, Queen of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. So it could be about what's going to be practical, Emperor card. Um, you know, this person, I mean, the Emperor, it's coming up like the Emperor is a very mature sort of stable type of an energy but you know it is also a husband and a father figure type energy you're coming up like as an emperor empress um i'm really getting you know libra that you might be dealing with a person that has already had to step into that role before and maybe it's like they're not too sure if that's what they want to do again or if they're ready to settle again or there's financial aspects to this um for most of you, uh, that's what I'm getting. But because this would be you and them matching, but then I'm seeing that there's a lot of this like lack of clarity and stuckness in coming together as that pair, you know, as the emperor and the empress. Um, but soul connection and the emperor and the empress are like counterparts, divine counterparts. Um, tell me about this emperor. Yeah, the four of pentacles in the reverse. They're working on letting go of something. I mean, four of pentacles in the reverse as well. You could be dealing with someone where there's um, jealousy issues or possessive issues. Um, but still also, even with that, some kind of a, a complication or confusion around really like taking control of the matter and settling down. Two of cups. I mean, they, they feel like you're a soul connection. Um, then I've got the nine of pentacles and the seven of wands and the queen of swords. Oh my gosh, Libra. And the knight of swords. Okay. So your queen of swords, right? So the seven of wands is in the upright and you had the seven of wands in the reverse. They're trying to persist with you, Libra, but also the seven of wands in the upright would be that there's a bit of defensiveness between the two of you. Maybe that's coming down to because queen of swords, this could be your energy. Maybe they feel you're not really expressing yourself or you're holding back. Um, or maybe, you know, your communication can get a little bit harsh or cold with them. Because I explained that that could be where you are not asserting yourself from a healthy place. Um, and nine of pentacles, nine of swords. Well, someone feels the other one is more self-focused than relationship focused. And again, maybe that's been you, Libra. Maybe you're a little bit like de defensive, you know. Um, and maybe there's some harsh energy between the two of you. There's this kind of sense of like knight of swords i mean maybe the communication can get kind of impulsive or harsh there um maybe it's around feeling possessive someone here i don't know but the emperor card here i mean generally it's a person that wants to wants to settle down wants to build a foundation but then there's a lot of mixed emotions here with the seven of cups why is that the wheel of fortune in the reverse and this is like closing out cycles okay um, there could be mixed feelings going on because there's unfinished business related to other energies, right? Like emotional issues related to the past. And they could feel like that's your issue. That's your side as well, Libra. I did explain where maybe you were projecting some stuff from the past. Maybe something within this is triggering your lack of self-confidence. Um, Ten of Cups in the reverse. This person also might have some fears and doubts when it comes to building Ten of Cups because I feel maybe they had some... Um, trouble in the past with family or they have children with another person and that sort of didn't work out um you know wheel of fortune in the reverse it can be like karmic issues that need to be dealt with the wheel of fortune in the reverse is also like there's a positive shift to happen so i feel like this could go in a different direction libra it's like but there needs to be a change or maybe someone in this situation isn't feeling very ready 
um, but I've got a king of wands. So you're a king and queen of wands. They're in the upright. So Libra, they're very attracted to you. They desire you a lot. Maybe you feel like it's more attraction than anything else and that you, you know, they're not necessarily aligning with what you want for the future. Um, but yeah, this is like, there's something out of balance between the two of you. It could be a very strong sexual component, um, but you're lacking your sort of your self, your self worth or your self confidence, or just in getting clear about what you want. Maybe you just need to speak up, Libra. <laughs> Let's see. Five of Swords in the reverse. They want to get past some kind of a tense energy with you or conflict, and Page of Cups in the reverse. There seems to be some emotional issues coming up or immature, uh, emotional immaturity. Okay. Um, maybe you trigger each other's uh, childhood wound stuff, okay? With that page of cups in the reverse. Two pages in the reverse, which can mean that maybe the conversation gets a bit petty or um, childish or something like that. Sorry, Libra. Um, the devil card in the reverse. The two of swords in the reverse. They want to come unstuck. You're feeling very stuck. There's indecision. I think they want to come out of indecision, two of swords. The devil card in the reverse means that they want to get past whatever is like creating this toxic type energy or toxic cycles or communication. Um, someone here may have a lot of fears or maybe both of you. So this is about like trying to get past that, the devil in the reverse. Maybe this person has a very toxic past or a toxic ex, you know, with that queen of pentacles, two of pentacles. There might be someone that's still very bound to them financially and they're trying to cut themselves away from that or deal with the emotional component of that so that they can be more open because four of pentacles is in the reverse here with the empress so they want to take some kind of level of control of the situation and work through why maybe they hold back if they're not giving you everything or if they have trouble really expressing themselves um, emotionally emperor card can be a little bit more um, stern and maybe not so emotionally open sometimes. It can be a bit of a cold energy. I'm really not getting that this person is a toxic person or um, I think that this is really coming down to Libra. Is this aligned with what you desire? Have you asserted what you actually desire? Do you know what you actually desire? Have you put it out on the table? There seems to be that there's something that needs to be communicated and communicated well. There's a miscommunication going on here. And then there might be also some past issues that need to be worked through and resolved to move forward in a better direction. And there is opportunity here, you know, for like revival and a change and giving this a chance, but it's going to involve also taking control of your own patterns, Libra. But again, I'm not telling you what to do. I think you'll have to decide. The judgment card, like I said, decisions. It's also awakening. So something's happening within you where you're sort of coming into your truth and your power. Um, maybe this, what's going on here is challenging some aspects of you, Queen of Wands in the reverse, but it's forcing you to come into your truth, maybe to break certain patterns so that you can flourish as Empress um, and welcome in love and abundance and, and all of that. Um, and again, I'm not saying that this person is perfect for you, but there seems to be a strong soul connection and it is connected to your awakening with the judgment card. And you are, you know, the Empress card is growing pains. <laughs> okay. Um, let me get some Mystic Black Rose and see what's going on here. Okay. All right. Risky. Maybe you feel like this is, there's something like, there's a risk in this situation for some reason. I don't know because maybe this person is quite different to what you've had or there's religious or cultural differences, as I said, or maybe you feel like it's a risk with your heart because you feel... Um, you know, you're not sure that this person is really giving you what you really want. But again, I'm saying maybe you need to say what you want and honor what you want, you know. Um, toxic, mm. unhealthy, nasty behaviors, jealousy. I did say that there could be some possessiveness and stuff coming up. So that's something that needs to be worked through and that might be coming out of some insecurity. Maybe that's on both ends or maybe that's on your end, Libra. Maybe it's a cue to you working through that um you know even if you move forward like maybe this is pointing to an aspect of you that doesn't feel worthy or good enough you know i mean there might be some third party energy around like the ten of cups in the reverses here and i did say to you it might be that there is a mum 
like a mum or a dad, like an ex that's still around and that could be prompting some jealousy issues. I wasn't picking up player energy, Libra. I didn't see any like three of cups, knight of wands type energy. So that's not what I'm getting, but there is some kind of jealousy stuff going on with toxic pursuit, chasing, resilience. So, um, and maybe there's a bit of push-pull, right? Like withdrawal and then, you know, um, impulsive behavior, pull back, pursue, I don't know. Let's see, finality, differences, break up, not looking back. It also says divorce. So for some of you, like I said, there's a person, they've had a divorce or they're going through a divorce. Maybe you're feeling frustrated because maybe they're not ready yet for a commitment um or maybe you're finding that there's differences here right and the differences are too great so therefore they're not aligned for you you know for what you really desire and want let's see what else i just saw decision indecision okay discussions planning um butterflies feeling complete can't stop smiling happiness devotion um ghost twin flames conflict oh my god and then illuminate okay confessions shedding light with the family card starting a family making a home feeling safe feeling secure this is triggering some insecurity in you but i also feel like it's because there's things that need to just be said and things you need to get out on the table um there's conflict energy clashing there seems to be differences and there seems to be some triggering of some toxic behaviors, but there also seems to be this sort of sense of happiness and devotion. So there needs to be discussion here, Libra, and maybe that's what's happening now. And that discussion is going to dictate the decision that you're making. Do you know what I mean? That twin flames card, I mean, that's like mirrored emotions, your other half, shared feelings, reflection of soul. So I did say that there could be mirroring or there could be, you know, this is triggering something for you to look at so i'm not getting so much that this person is like a person that you should be really worried of or you know there might be projection okay maybe on their part too but then i've got the ghost card no contact leaving so this is either you making a decision you want to leave it behind or this is that maybe hot and cold behavior between the two of you given um some of these patterns that are going on okay pain guarded apprehensive putting up a wall and then i have the past so i said to you i think that there's past issues that are being projected into the into the present situation maybe triggering jealousy or um there's like communication issues coming up so it's really about you looking at that and deciding is this what's going on in this situation or is this a part of me that needs to be healed and worked through so that i can have more harmony with or without this person, you know what I'm saying? Adrenaline, up and down, roller coaster ride, good and bad, rushes of feelings. Um, it's also a challenge for you to speak your truth, Libra, to honor yourself, to step into your power, Empress, um, and to make decisions based on what's right for you, okay? That Hierophant card. All right, Libra, I hope that that resonated for you. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, please. And I will check in with you guys in two weeks' time. Lots of love.